Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to The Sip, your daily dose of just the right tea. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you're new, hello. It is so good to see you, meet you, and greet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? All right, y'all. Daily general energy reading for the collective. Please, guys, keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as this may not resonate with everyone all the way through. Yes. Also, keep in mind that this is a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with this reading. So whenever you're guided to watch and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get into this. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Definitely share this with your friends. Let people know there is a new daily series here on YouTube on Divine Conversations once again. Yeah, let's get into this. What's the energy for the collective? What's the sip for the collective today, please, Spirit? What's going on with the collective? What does the collective need to know? What do you have for the sip for us? Please, spirit. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay. First card is the Queen of Queen of Wands. Then we have the Ace of Swords, and then we have the King of Swords. Overall energy is the Eight of Wands. And what I wanted to say, as soon as the Queen of Wands came out, I wanted to say, keep going in the direction that you're heading in, in the direction that you're moving towards, what it is that you're moving towards. You are headed in the right direction. Okay, you're very clear on what it is you want about your life. Um, Ace of Swords, King of Swords. I feel like you've done a lot of work to get yourself to a level of a certain a level of alignment. Okay, for yourself <clears throat> in terms of your goals, what it is you want, what it is you want to achieve, what it is you want to manifest for yourself. Um, I feel like you've done a hell of a lot of work to cultivate this. What I want to say also is certain level of awareness, okay? There is a certain level of personal awareness, of self-awareness that is lending to you being of a certain vibration or a certain point of attraction, okay? You're holding a certain vibration. You're holding a certain level of frequency that is bringing what it is that you want to you towards you in greater amounts. I am, I'm also hearing in droves. Okay, you may not be necessarily uh, experiencing those droves yet, but it's definitely coming. All right, I feel it. It's definitely happening. Um, but there is, again, there is a certain level of awareness that comes with this energy that you're holding or this vibration that you're holding. And that is with the Ace of Swords here. Truth, clarity, honesty. Oh, geez. Hold on a second, guys. Sorry, guys, I had to go outside um, and check on my cat because I don't know if you guys could hear that squealing, um, but Jinx is outside doing whatever, and they've caught, like, my, she catches mice and everything, but they actually caught a rat once. Um, it was a baby rat, and they brought it into the house. But anyway, <laughs> that squealing that I heard, I wanted to make sure um, Jinx wasn't getting hurt or whatnot, whatever. So anyway, sorry about that. But back to the reading here. There is a certain level of awareness that you have been able to achieve that is also helping you get into alignment with what it is that you want here with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords, okay? I feel like there is a heavy, heavy amount of determination for you right now. A heavy, determine, heavy amount of determination. And yes, a lot of that is coming from the Queen of Wands here, from that fiery, passionate aspect, but it's also coming from this King of Swords, Okay, because I feel like with this King of Swords energy here, you are very much, um, uh, okay, Spirit just said you are staying in direct alignment. So you are very conscious, consciously aware of your alignment, what that alignment is and what it takes to stay in that alignment. You're also very clear on or very aware of what is going on around you in your external reality that is not necessarily a direct reflection of the true vibration you are holding. And because of that, there is a level here with this King of Swords of you either needing to or actually are 
staying consciously focused in where it is you need to be focused, what it is you need to be focused on, the the mindset or the, the mindset you need to keep, the thoughts that you need to let go of versus the thoughts that you would like to keep. You're staying very consciously aware of what's going on both internally within you and externally, external to you, okay? Um, as a result, you're keeping the energy flowing very well with this Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. However, <clears throat> excuse me. However, what I want to say here is the Eight of Wands is here representing clarity. It's representing a clear traject trajectory in front of you. It's not necessarily anything that you're doing other than holding your vibration that's keeping the energy flowing like this. I feel like the energy is just naturally flowing like this. You are making, staying consciously aware or making sure you stay consciously aware enough to flow with this energy, okay? The energy is naturally flowing. I feel like you have made a lot of adjustments in your life, in your vibration, and in your mindset, and you're keeping yourself there, King of Swords, in order to be able to flow with this natural flow, to move with this natural flow, okay? Excellent, guys. So what's next, please, Spirit? What's next for the collective in terms of this energy? The Hermit. Two more cards, please. What's next for the collective in terms of this? The Seven of Cups. Okay, one last card, please, Spirit. What's next? And the Knight of Cups. Overall energy is the Ten of Wands. Very interesting. All right, so it seems that whatever is next... Um, Okay, um, this is interesting because what I'm getting here, you guys, is a deeper level of clarity. So I feel like you have been able to achieve a baseline vibration of how it is you want to move forward in your life <clears throat> or really <clears throat> what it is you want to achieve, what it is you want to receive, what it is you want to manifest in your life. Um, you reached a baseline vibration here. A vibration, a baseline or a level that you want to maintain. That doesn't mean that you're not that level or that vibration isn't going to change, evolve and grow over time. And it feels like that's what's coming on here. Because what I feel like is next for you is a greater level of fine tuning this alignment for yourself, which is all related to your baseline. Okay, the, the new vibration you have come to that is a direct result of a greater understanding of yourself and your life and what it is you want to achieve, what it is you want to manifest in your life. It looks like um, either you're in a hermit mode right now or you're going to be going into a hermit mode. I do feel predominantly the message here for this reading is that somebody here or multiple people here are going to be going into, I just heard lockdown. But this is your own personal lockdown. I'm not saying, I'm not predicting that we're, you know, we're going to go back into more of those lockdowns that we experienced over the last two years. This is a personal lockdown. This is a personal hermit mode. Or if you're already in a hermit mode, maybe that hermit mode is going to deepen or it's going to be a bit extended. Because what I feel like here in this next level is you getting very clear on certain things that are still burdening you or certain things that you can weed through that can actually fall away. I feel like, yes, you've reached a new level of alignment. You've reached a new point of attraction. And it took you took some time to really settle into that, settle into a routine within that alignment. And now that you have a certain level of, of, of a routine or now that you've seemed to have settled into that alignment to a certain extent, more of it can be adjusted or more things in your life that don't necessarily fit with this alignment can be released. It feels like somebody you're going to be going through some sort of some level of upheaval. Now that you've reached a certain baseline or a certain um, level of stability within this new alignment, there are other there are more things that you can weed through. Hermit, Seven of Cups. 
more things that you can look at from this clearer point of view, from this greater understanding of what it is that you want. And now that you've settled into this alignment even more, again, now you can fine tune it even better. Because it seems that there are still some things that are burdening you that you were lacking in awareness of in the past or you weren't ready to deal with these things that are still burdening you and now that you've settled into this greater or settled into this alignment a little bit more now you have the opportunity to handle these certain things let go of certain things okay that are still burdening you, still blocking you, still um, a, a level of baggage here that you're still holding on to. But for others of you, it feels like you're coming to a greater awareness of this now. Whereas you were lacking in the awareness of it before, something about settling into this alignment, settling into a routine within, within this alignment or becoming more comfortable with this new alignment, now something is bringing those things up, is allowing you to look at these situations or these burdens from a different point of view, and is allowing you to fine tune this alignment even more. Fine tune how it is you want to move forward with your life, with, with what your heart is calling you towards, Knight of Cups, okay? All right, guys. Um, let's get some clarity here. I want to start by clarifying the Seven of Cups. What's this Seven of Cups for the collective, please, Spirit? So what are these new things that are going to be able to... Knight of Swords. Ooh. Clarify the Seven of Cups, please. Two more cards. Two of Wands. One more card, please, for the Seven of Cups. And the Nine of Swords. Some things that have been plaguing you for a long time. Six of Wands is their overall energy. Um, what I'm looking at with this Nine of Swords energy here, this feels like something that has been something that has been plaguing you for a long time. I feel like you're finally going to be able to make a decision in terms of it. You're finally going to be able to just decide to leave that behind. And this is all because of the greater level of alignment within yourself. I'm also hearing greater level of awareness in terms of what it is you want to achieve. This Nine of Swords energy felt like, feels like a level of panic, um, a, le a level of uh, kind of being thrown around or kind of being at the mercy of the elements just because you weren't quite clear, you weren't quite solid on what it is you wanted. So that made you susceptible to like any, with any sort of thing that would come forward and like push you around. You were lacking stability. You were lacking solid foundation in terms of in the truth of what it is you wanted. It doesn't necessarily mean that you know exactly how it's going to come to you or how it's going to look or materialize in your life. But yet you're at that stage where you know what it is you want. You know where it is you want to go. You know how it is you want to feel or what it is ultimately you want to achieve, even if you don't necessarily have the specifics in how that's going to come to you yet. But that's really all you needed. You just needed to fine tune that alignment, that vibration, so that you could break, start to bring it towards you. And that is effectively giving you a more solid place to make a certain decision and get out of this confusion. Get out of this um, energy of feeling like you're being thrown around or that you're at the mercy of things because you don't necessarily know what it is you want to achieve. Or at least you didn't. You didn't know at least what it was you wanted to achieve, okay? Uh, ooh, wrong deck. Um, I want to talk about... Let's clarify the Hermit now. What is this Hermit energy, please, Spirit? The Knight of Cups again. You see how the Knight of Cups is coming out twice? You, uh, you are in a position right now to, to be in greater tune with your heart. To understand more of what it is your heart is trying to tell you, or more, or more of where it is your heart is trying to lead you. So you're going to be going into a deeper level of hermit mode here. Or for some of you, you're going to be going into a hermit mode that you haven't previously been in. Within this hermit mode, you are going to be able to communicate with yourself to a greater extent, hear more about what it is your heart is trying to tell you, where your higher self is trying to lead you. Pay very close attention to the messages that you get over this time period. Clarify the Hermit a little bit more, please. Two more cards. 
Ten of Swords. That's excellent. And one last card, please, to clarify the Hermit. And the Seven of Wands. Wow. Wow. Overall energy is the Two of Cups. Now, for you guys here that have been following me for a long time, you know that I've, I've been reading the Two of Cups as the bond between you and yourself, the union between you and yourself. And I'm definitely still seeing it that way. For some of you, this is actually translating into a relationship that you're needing to or wanting to let go of. It looks and feels like there's going to be a level of separation here between you and a significant other. Maybe a romantic partner, maybe a friend or a group of friends. Um, I feel like it's one other person though. But take it as it resonates. This is a, a general reading. Um, could be a family member. But this is all because of your greater awareness of the alignment that you would like to hold. Where it is you would like to go in your life. And also who more who you know yourself to be. Now for others of you, this could actually be leading you to a, a, a divine partnership or an appropriate relationship for yourself. Because ultimately your heart seems to be leading you towards or you seem to be led towards an, a, a situation in which endings are going to happen here. Or the end of really tough, difficult situations, tough life circumstances. Recognize that this hermit mode here is going to help you bring clarity in your life. And that lack of clarity was bringing you stress, nightmares, worry, okay, the nine of swords energy. But Going through this hermit mode or going through this time period of listening to yourself, figuring out yourself a little bit more, listening more to your inner light, getting more in tune with your inner light, the hermit and the seven of cups is going to help you fight against this lack of clarity and help you make a decision here. And that decision is going to be in greater terms of what it is your heart is leading you towards, the direction that you're really truly wanting to go in. It's going to bring an end to these situations and it's going to bring you greater boundaries. It's also going to bring you an ability to hold stronger boundaries or say no or say enough is enough in some cases. This is all because of the union within yourself, the alignment that you have with yourself, Two of Cups, okay? I want to clarify the Knight of Cups a little bit more. What is the Knight of Cups specifically saying here for the collective? What is the collective's heart specifically saying here? Please spirit. What is the heart leading us towards? The King of Wands now. Ooh-wee. Two more cards, please. For the Knight of Cups. The Magician. Yep. One last card, please. For the Knight of... For, yes, for the Knight of Cups. One last card, please. Spirit. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> See, we're back to the Two of Cups here. Some of you are actively working on manifesting a relationship, uh, but that is not that is on the back burner, Spirit is saying, and at least that's what I'm feeling for this energy. Yes, you do want a relationship. There's no doubt about that, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's not that serious. You are very well aware that that proper relationship is going to come at the right time. You're not trying to force anything to happen when it comes to a relationship. I also feel like you or whomever here in which this relationship energy is resonating with, um, you may have tried to force things or move too quickly in the past and things always blew up in your face or it just didn't turn out the way you wanted. Um, but ultimately, you're over that now. You're much happier being single or at least being in this energy of allowing things to manifest in the right in the proper time than trying to force anything okay but the knight of cups is specifically leading you towards the proper action that is in that is that correlates to your alignment queen of wands and if it seems that in order to really get to that proper action that is in correlation with your alignment, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. It seems that there are some things that still need to be worked out. It seems that there are some things that you're going to have to weigh against one another. There are certain values that need to be defined here. And you're able to define this to a greater extent because you have a greater understanding of what your alignment 
is supposed to be at this time. Now, I do use supposed to be fairly lightly. Um, it's not supposed to be anything other than the, what works best for you, what is the greatest alignment for you. But it's specifically, I will say that I, I feel like you do have an understanding of what your alignment is supposed to be or how you are supposed to maintain this alignment because you have settled into some sort of habit or stability or um, what was the word I was using before? I guess habit is the best way to describe it at this point. You've settled into this alignment in a really good way, in a really beneficial way. And because you have settled greatly, great, you have settled into this alignment more, now you have a perspective to say, okay, what else can be let go of? Or what do I need to redefine here? That's what I'm getting with this two of pentacles here. Uh, weighing certain things against each other or against this new alignment. Saying, okay, actually, is what I'm holding on to here really still in alignment with me? Does it still vibrate or resonate with this alignment that I'm holding? Or can I actually let go of it? Is it going to help me achieve what it is that I want? Is it going to help me take the actions that I want to take in order to manifest what it is that I want? Or is it going to be a hindrance? You have a greater level of awareness here to really define those things for yourself or answer those questions for yourself now that you have settled into this alignment more, okay? You have some really good habits going around this alignment. You have a flow. You have, what is the word that I'm looking for? You have a certain um, organic flow to it. Um, momentum, you have a good momentum going here. You know, yes, it may still be a fairly new alignment, but it's not like you just started this process yesterday. You know what I mean? It's not that new. It's probably like a week old or a month old, but it, there is a sufficient level of momentum involved with this. I don't feel like there's really much of a fear or a, um, not a, necessarily a fear, but an awareness of the fact that maybe you might fall off this bandwagon. I feel like you've been on this bandwagon for long enough to be like, okay, now we can settle more, even more into it because we have a, found, a good foundation going so far. And so now because of that, you will be in this hermit mode here to redefine certain things for yourself, come to a certain level of clarity for yourself in order to continue forward with this alignment. Okay? You have the ability to see things clearer. King of Swords. You also have the ability to see things from a clearer, more objective point of view once against, up against this alignment that you're holding here, okay? This is beautiful. This is really, really excellent, you guys. What I'm wanting to get is a closing message from the Tarot here in terms of this energy. Last closing message, please, Spirit, for this collective reading. First card is now, look, you have your, you've got counterparts going on here, you guys. So that Two of Cups is really representing the bond between the masculine and feminine within you. The union of masculine and feminine energy you have going on within you. You have the King and the Queen of Wands, and now you have the King and the Queen of Swords. Okay? Also, what's also benefiting this here <clears throat> is oxygen fuels fire, okay? So these energies work together well with each other. Oxygen or air being the sword suit, fire being the wand suit, okay? Closing message, please, Spirit, in terms of Tarot for this reading. Final message here, Queen of Swords, Four of Swords. Last card, please. One last card just to close out this reading from the Tarot perspective. One last, ooh, one last card, please, Spirit. Okay, well, we still get two. Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Interesting. And we're back to the Seven of Cups here. All right, so this is greater definition on the Seven of Cups. You have to be extremely discerning, okay? Anything... Thank <laughs> you. 
There, anything that leaves you in a lack mentality point of view just cannot be held on to. You also have to be very clear that any sort of lack mentality energies or feelings or thought processes or beliefs that come up in this new alignment are actually part of the past. Are a part of institutionalized energies, are a part of indoctrinating energies that have wanted to keep us under control. You are actively releasing this energy. Part of this new vibration, part of this new point of awareness that we are holding, that you are holding here, has everything to do with releasing levels of indoctrination and fear-based realities that uh, we experienced in the past. We are actively letting these go at this time, okay? So stay very clear, very calm, and very discerning, okay? Pay very close attention, the closest amount of attention to the fear-based energies or the lack mentality energies. Any ways in which you still feel like or you still believe you are lacking or disconnected from a level of abundance. You may even want to seek out ways that you are still believing in this or still feeling this or still thinking about this. You still have these beliefs flowing. That is part of the deep that I just heard that is the deeper level of a, a discernment here. OK. Because that would actively be holding you back from your manifestations. And it, it feels very specifically, you guys, that we are actively moving away from that lack mental mentality energy, those those energies that lead us to believe we are not connected to abundance, that abundance is not our birthright. So this is this is fine tuning this level of awareness or this point of attraction, Queen of Wands, to release anything that is fear based and anything that is lacking in dogma, in restriction, in lack of self belief in feeling that one is not adequate enough, and also in feeling like you are not abundant, like any sort of disconnection from the birthright of your abundance, okay? Excellent. Closing Oracle Guidance is coming from the Crystal Mandala Oracle. All right, guys, closing message here. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for the collective team. Oops, try that one more time. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for the collective. All right, here we go. All right, card number 16, Angel Balthio and Rose Quartz, Heart Healing. This does, it feels like a deep cleaning, okay? You've settled into this greater energy of self-awareness, yes, um, an awareness of what it is that you want to achieve, your point of attraction. And now that you've really settled into this, you have this ability to do this deeper cleansing of your heart chakra. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Heart healing. We bring you the gift of heart healing. Over many lifetimes, your beautiful heart has loved and lost and loved again. You have learned how to feel joy, pain, suffering, and bliss. Your wise heart knows that life is filled with darkness and light, and it chooses to love the divine and participate in life anyway. You might worry that your heart has been stretched beyond its limit, become closed or broken, yet your heart is filled with divine grace, power, and, of course, love. It can and will heal itself to love again, bigger, bolder, and braver than ever before. Do not doubt the healing power of your heart. There is power in your heart to heal through struggle into joy. And your heart has the gift of helping to heal others with love. Your open, kind heart helps soothe others, bringing comfort and reassurance to the world. Trust your heart and let it heal and guide you into the most beautiful and loving divine destiny waiting for you. 
excellent guys so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope this sip of tea was just the right one for you i also hope you have a fantastic day please make sure to like share comment and subscribe follow us over on patreon patreon.com slash divine conversations also follow me on twitter and instagram the links to those can be found in the description box below and if you would like to get a personal reading with me i am available with that for that, again, check the description box below for all of the details. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next sip of tea tomorrow. Yeah? Excellent. Bye.